Turkey Day, as we know it, is just right around that corner. And if you're needing some help on where to start, we just have a couple of days left to do that early prep work. The Valley Today's Abby Furchner is getting some expert advice this morning to help us out. Good morning, Abby. Good morning, you guys. I'm here with Noreen Thomas with Doubting Thomas Farms, and she is our expert cook this morning. And if you're anything like me and you've never hosted Thanksgiving before, this is your first time this year hosting that big party. What are some easy steps that they can take to make sure that their meal is ready for Thursday? Easy is to make things ahead, and we're also going to be posting a recipe that the pie crust you can make homemade takes you five minutes. It's wow. And it's just, you can't fail with this. So we're going to give you some easy tips for that. Also kind of plan, Abby, if you have eight people coming, you know, probably eight pound turkey. You could go a little bit more if you have teenagers, but it's about a pound per person. And then when it comes to leftovers, do you want to send some of that home with them? How do you store those leftovers? Within eating or during the time of eating, the food should be stored away within two hours. And you can keep it in your fridge, use it two to three days, that's about it. Or what I do is just freeze it. And if you freeze it, you could keep it for that January, February, and just bring it out for stir fry or a shepherd's pie. It's beautiful then to have, you know, you'll forget about the leftovers then, and this will be a newfound treasure. And let's go back a little bit. You said maybe to prepare some meals in advance or some food in advance. What are some things that you should prepare in advance and what are some meals or some food items that you should wait until the day of? Well, definitely the pies can meet, be made ahead of time. You can also, I like the coleslaw to be really nice and flavorful. So if you make it the day ahead, it's just perfect mm. for Thanksgiving. It's marinated a little bit. Things like cabbage break down a little bit and it's just more flavorful. So in just a few minutes, we'll be showing that super simple pie recipe that you could make the night before, or it's so simple, you could honestly make it just a few minutes ahead before all your guests arrive. It's always nice to kind of have a plan, whether it's just planning for what you can do that morning right. or... You don't do... want to cut it too close, though. Right. <laughs> Abby Furchner reporting live. Thank you.